Hi everyone, it's Vladka for Cottage Cuts blog and thank you very much for joining me today. I'll be sharing this fun watercolor project and show you how to create this simple card with bicycle. So let's start. Okay, so for today's project I will use this bicycle in grass style and I will use just bicycle and some flowers which are part of the grass. I will show you this later. I will also use garden stems dye to put some greenery in my bicycle basket and I decide not to use any fancy watercolors today so I will use this fundamental watercolor pen set and you can take any watercolor pen set you have in your stash also the one which your children are using in the school for example of course I will also be using some paint brushes and water. This is my white card base which is approximately 4 inches wide and 6 inches long. An additional piece of watercolor paper which I'm going to use first and create gentle watercolor background on it. So first I'm going to add some water on the right side of this watercolor paper and I'm pretty generous with water here because water will help me to spread colors around this wet area. I'm going to use blue color first and mix it with water because I want to achieve very bright background. So I'm applying this blue color here and there and as you can see water is spreading it around and help me. On the bottom I will do the same, but this time I will be using black watercolor. Next step is uh, to dry this area with my heat gun and after it's dry I'm going to paint second layer and this will give me more watercolor background look. I'm still careful because I want to keep background bright as it gets. I use my heat gun to dry also the second layer and I put this piece of paper aside because I need to prepare other die cuts and as you can see I'm already mixing two shades of green color and also some yellow. I'm pretty careless when I'm coloring these die cuts and I think this is part of the fun when using watercolors. It is really relaxing and less you care, better results are coming out. I also put my greenery aside and let them to dry. And as I promise at the beginning of this video, I'm coloring just part of the grass die cut. Actually, these are really small flowers and I will be using them later and put them in bicycle basket. Time to color the bicycle itself. First I'm applying some black color on the wheel and on the purpose I will let some parts uncolored and this will give me more artistic finished look. But before I begin to color the rest of the bicycle I'm going to dry the wheel with my heat gun. The frame of the bicycle I'm going to color with mixture of red and purple and also here I will add some small areas uncolored. Again I dry also this part with my heat gun and because uh, the color it's too bright I will put some additional mixture of red and purple on it. And of course last but not least is the basket and for the basket I will use mixture of brown colors. Of course you can also use distressings or markers or any other watercolor media to color such die cuts. You just need to have fun with it. 
and for really finished touch I'm also going to apply a hinge of yellow on bird's back because such small things gives really special touch to the project my greenery is dry and I will cut off some parts which I will be using for the greenery in my basket. I will also prepare my little red flowers. I will also cut off these little pieces and to glue everything together I will use my glossy accent glue I'm using my bottle with fine tip and this allows me to add really small amount of glue. This is really important when you are putting together such small pieces as this greenery and these small flowers. Bicycle is almost finished and all these small pieces gives him some romantic look, don't you think? It's really cute. So time to put everything together and what I'm going to do next is to apply some glue on the half of the bicycle, actually on the half which is colored and I'm going to press it on my watercolor piece of paper. After this is done I'm going to cut off the rest of the bicycle which I didn't color before and of course all I need is sentiment and today I will be using one which I have it for a long time and it says life is a beautiful right and if you don't have such a stamp no problem because you can always create it in your text software program like Word and print it on your piece of paper but my advice will be to do it before you apply watercolors on it. Okay, this is finished and I will glue this on my card base and this finished the card for today. I hope you have fun! And if you are interested in the supplies I used here, please visit my blog or Cottage Cuts blog. You will find both links under this video. Thank you so much for joining me and see you soon. Bye!